next question here, and I've received this about four zillion dozen times. Should we be exhaling through our nose as well? It doesn't look fully natural, does it? <laughs> and, and if you look at uh, the, the physical, what happens in the, the nose when we inhale is that we uh, warm the air, we um, humidify the air, and a lot of the particles that we inhale, and, and research tells us that we inhale about 100 billion particles in a single day. Up to 80% of those particles, they are trapped in the nose. Then they go, the air goes down into the lungs, and there we have body temperature, and there it's 100% moist. And then when we exhale, if we then do that through the nose, then the nose that gets slightly colder, colder and slightly drier on the inhale and slightly uh, full of bacteria, then the warm and uh, moist air will then rewarm and rehumidify the air at the nose, and the particles trapped on the inhale will be exhale out. So in my view, if we use the nose both for inhale and exhale, it's a, a really a self-cleaning particle filter and a very efficient uh, heat exchanger. And if we look at the mouth itself, there is absolutely no function served by the mouth in terms of breathing. If you breathe air in through your mouth, that air goes straight down your throat. Your mouth does nothing, zero functions. Now, if you look at the size of the nasal cavity, which is sitting above your mouth, if you look at the size of that, that space in, in the skull, which is designed to serve so many functions in, in terms of respiration, any respiratory complaint, whether it's asthma or even you know, people with anxiety, people with sleep disorder breathing, people with you know, COVID continue breathing through your nose, both to harness nasal nitric oxide, but also if people are infected, also make sure you breathe through your nose because if you breathe through your mouth there is a 42 percent greater water loss out through your mouth so you can imagine if you are you know if you're unfortunate enough to be infected and you're in your family environment and your family members are around you and if you're breathing with your mouth open you're emitting a greater you're in a, you know a greater load into the atmosphere that could increase the risk of your family members picking it up 